Gold Medical Brigades is life-changing. It will change the way that you look at medicine and the way you look at people as a whole. Um, Gold Brigades is just one big family helping other people. And to be part of something that special and that unique is um, words can't describe. The people had such an impact on me, especially the children, because just something so simple like um, teaching them how to brush their teeth um, and sing this, we sang this little song, was like teach them how to brush their teeth. It was just so, it was so awesome to see how excited they were about, about something like that. This seems so simple to us and it was just so humbling. This past March, we took 33 people down to Honduras. Um, it was such a great time, such a cool experience to be able um, to see all of the people that we were helping firsthand and how our students were able to make an immediate impact on um, all the people in rural Honduras. It was really um, a cool experience to Yeah, it was uh, 607 people total we got the help, which was, you know, Astronomical, it was awesome to be able to work with different doctors, help them out, um, bringing down all different medications, you know, a lot less fortunate that it's just, you know, nice to help out anywhere we can. things that really stuck out the most to me was that every single community member, member and we saw like I think 600 over three days they all came up to us and were calling us doctors and just saying all the stuff and I mean we know we're not doctors but they don't know that I mean they look at us just as these people that are just coming in to help them and just I mean to them we're literally saving them because they have nothing they have no resources they don't really have clean water I mean the medication that we give them has to last for like months on end so I mean that really just was probably the best thing for me and I think for them too. I think that we imp impacted them in ways that we can't even imagine. Uh, I'll never forget I think it was the first or second day we were driving back down the mountain after we had closed up, packed everything up and we had been on the bus for probably about an hour and a half and we looked over to see a woman who we had seen at the clinic earlier that day was walking down the side of the mountain with an infant in her arms and a toddler. And it's like, wow, we've been on the bus for an hour and a half and she's been walking that far. You know, it's just mind blowing that we sit here and we're like, oh, I don't want to go to the dentist. Oh, I don't want to go to the doctor. But these people were literally hugging us, kissing us, telling us how thankful they were to have us. Um, whether it was we just gave them vitamins or we, you know, provided some sort of care that they needed. I, I loved shadowing the doctors and getting, all, getting to know more about medicine, more about the field of healthcare, and um, going from station to station, so I learned more about dentistry, learned more about physicians, and, um, and pharmacology as well because we had a pharmacy, so um, I was able to help people learn more about what doctors do, and that all that put together, every way that we were able to help around the clinic from station to station, I was able to get different perspectives on the field of healthcare and that's what really made me want to be a doctor even more. I, I, I just, it was a feeling I can't really describe in words, it's just seeing all these people that are in need and being able to provide certain things that they don't have access to was really a great feeling and that's something that I would love to do career-wise. Like as a doctor, maybe someday if I am accepted to med school and become a doctor, I'd like to travel abroad. and 
but as of now that's something that any student can do. They, any student can join the group and if they have the money they can travel abroad and make a huge difference and seeing all the different communities that we visited two different communities that have been uh, visited by different brigades you can you notice how these communities have been changed and how college groups have made an impact and even though we're 18 to 21 you can still make a huge difference